Hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to be doing my first ever movie review. That's right, I was planning this a long time ago, but I completely scrapped it for quite a year, but I'm going to start doing movie reviews. So, you can give me a request what movie you want me to review on, and I'll do it. So, first, I'm going to do a review on Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Came in the year of 2000 and, um, t 2000. So, basically what the plot is, it's about Thomas and his friends doing their usual stuff. Like they do in the TV show, doing jobs and stuff. And then this evil train called Diesel 10 comes to the island and he wants to find this engine called Lady. And, um... Um, Mr. Conduct and Sir Tom Hat come goes on a holiday, and Mr. Conductor comes to look after the railway, and it's up to Thomas and his friends to save Lady, and that's basically what the plot is. Now, guys, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of this movie anymore. It's not bad, or it's not one hundred percent bad. But there is a few problems with it. The, the movie was meant to have a different, you know, um, writing. Like, it was meant to be called Thomas and the Rainbow Railway, I think it was. And, um, um, there were some characters that were originally meant to be in this movie, but they were cut, and those were being George the Steamroller. He was originally meant to be the other villain of the film, but he was cut, and Edward wasn't even in the movie at all. And either were the human characters on the island of Soda. That was just pretty weird. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's just it's to memory of Peter Fonda. As you can see him right here. Yeah. He died like two days ago. I didn't hear the news until yesterday. So I'm doing this review to dedicate to him. Because he was a great actor. Now let's talk about the new characters. So we have Lady. Who is my other, who's my favorite new character. And we have Splatter and Dodge, which they're pretty alright. And we have Diesel 10. To be honest, guys, I hate Diesel 10. Because he's such a jackass. He's very mean to Thomas and his friends. And I absolutely hated him in Calling All Engines. Because it's not... He's completely out of character in this. Calling All Engines made him, like, a brilliant villain. And then the, the creators of Head Entertainment spat on him, dragged him to the mud, put blood on him, put wee on him, put poop on him, and dragged him in, and put him in the fire and made Diesel 10 a freaking good guy. That's what pretty much the writers did in a nutshell. So, yeah. And, um, do I have any positives? Well, yes. The animation is quite good. Thomas is great. And the music is brilliant. And the songs were really nice to listen to. So, yeah. And... There was going to be a theatrical, another theatrical Thomas release, and it was um, um, The Adventures of Thomas, but that was scrapped because we didn't hear any updates on the film, so it was scrapped, and um, we didn't get it, so yeah. So, I don't know if that's all I have to say, 
But, um, yeah, I think that is. And I've also heard that there was going to be an original, there, there was originally going to be a sequel to this, but that was also scrapped because the movie didn't do well at the box office. And the show still went on to this day. And there's also been brand new episodes released on TV in the US. Like there were like Digs and Discoveries came out in Canada yesterday. And yes, I watched that today. And to be honest, I'll tell you my opinion on that when I review that. And um there was two new episodes that came out yesterday and it was Panicky Percy and Diesel Do Right. So yeah. So I think that's all I have to say for this. So yeah, I guess that's it. Overall, Thomas and the Magic Railroad is an average film. film. It, get, it probably gets a 6 out of 10. But if you guys hate this film, then that's totally fine. I respect your opinion as long as you respect mine. So that's all for now. Stay tuned for some more videos coming up soon. And this is me, signing off.